Function composition. A composite function is a combination of two functions. Here, the result of one function is applied to a second function. So for example, we could write this as f of g of x. And that's the way you say this, f of g of x. There's no multiplication implied here by the parentheses. Or another way of writing like a different notation for this is f o g of x. And it's not really an O, it's kind of like an open circle in between the F and the G. So this, these two notations refer to the same composition. Let's look at some examples. So let's look at an example with two functions where F of X is equal to 3X squared plus 1 and G of X equals 2X minus 3. Let's find f of g of 2. So here, the inside function, or the function whose result is applied to the second function, is g. And we're looking for g of 2. So we want to look at the g function and substitute 2 in for x. g of 2 will equal 2 times 2 minus 3, which is 4 minus 3 or 1. So g of 2 is 1. Now we're going to feed that 1 into the f of x function. So we're going to find f of 1. Okay, So here we're going to take the f function and substitute 1 in for x. So we get 3 times 1 squared plus 1. Okay, so 1 squared is 1, so here we have 3 times 1 plus 1. 3 times 1 is 3, so 3 times 1 plus 1 equals 3 plus 1. And 3 plus 1 is 4. So f of 1 is 4. Or, in the end, therefore, and that's what 3 dots stand for in a triangle, f of g of 2 equals 4. Let's also find g of f of 2. So here we're applying the composition in the different order. Here we're first finding f of 2. So let's take the f function and substitute 2 in for x. Here we get 3 times 2 squared plus 1. 2 squared is 4, so this becomes 3 times 4 plus 1. 3 times 4 is 12, so this becomes 12 plus 1, and 12 plus 1 is 13. So f of 2 is 13. Let's now take the 13 and substitute it into the g function. So we're going to take the g function and everywhere we see an x, replace it with 13. This will equal 2 times 13 minus 3. 2 times 13 is 26, so this is 26 minus 3. 26 minus 3 is 23. So here g of 13 is 23, or g of f of 2 equals 23. And you'll notice the first time for f of g of 2, we got 4, whereas this time g of f of 2, we got 23. They do not need to give the same value, so be careful. Do not assume that taking the composition in reverse will give you the same value. Okay, f of x equals 3x squared plus 1. g of x equals 2x minus 3. Now we're going to find f of g of x. So we're not substituting in a value for x, so our answer will have x in the answer. Here, our main function is f, and we're replacing all of our x's with the g of x function. So we're going to try to color code. So f, we're going to start writing, and g of x is going to replace our x's. So f of g of x equals, okay, so I'll write the f function, 3 times something squared plus 1, and in the parentheses we'll put the g of x function, 2x minus 3. Now we need to simplify this. So we're going to 
rely upon some of your Algebra 1 skills. So 3 times, now remember 2x minus 3 squared is the same as 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 3. We're going to multiply by distributing 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. Negative 3 times 2x is another negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Here we can combine the, the two negative 6x's and get 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. So we can replace the parentheses of 2x minus 3 squared with 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 in parentheses. And then don't forget that we still have the plus 1. Okay, continuing, we need to distribute the 3. So 3 times 4x squared is 12x squared. 3 times negative 12x is negative 36x. 3 times 9 is positive 27. And don't forget the plus 1. Simplifying, we get 12x squared minus 36x. And then the 27 plus 1 is 28. So here, f of g of x equals 12x squared minus 36x plus 28. Let's find g of f of x. So here we're starting off with the g function and substituting f of x in for x. So let's start writing the g function. 2 times something minus 3. And in the parentheses for the something where the x would go, we'll put the f of x function. So we'll write 3x squared plus 1. Okay, this equals, let's distribute, 2 times 3x squared equals 6x squared. 2 times positive 1 is plus 2. And we still have the minus 3. This equals 6x squared. And then 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So g of f of x equals 6x squared minus 1. Notice again, these are not the same functions, or not the same compositions. So try this. If f of x equals 5x plus 1, and m of x equals negative 2x minus 5, find f of m of 0 and m of f of 0. So pause this, try this on your own, and then check your answer back here. Okay, so for f of m of 0, we first need to find m of 0. And so in the m function, we're replacing all the x's with 0. We get negative 2 times 0 minus 5, and that equals negative 5. Now we're finding f of negative 5. So in the f function, replace all the x's with negative 5, and we get 5 times negative 5 plus 1, which is negative 24. Okay, now let's find m of f of 0. Here, f is the closest one to the value, and so that is the function that we use first. We need to find f of 0, and that is 5 times 0 plus 1 because we're taking the f function and replacing all the x's with 0. 5 times 0 plus 1 is 1. And now we're taking that 1 and substituting it into in for x in the m function. So we're looking for m of 1. OK, so now we're taking the m function, which is negative 2x minus 5, and substituting 1 in for x. And we get negative 2 times 1 minus 5 negative 2 minus 5, or negative 7. So again, you see that taking the composition in a different order may give you a different value. Okay, I want you to find f of m of x. So I want you to pause this, try to find it on your own, and then check back here for your answer. Okay, so here, our main function is going to be the f function, and then we're going to substitute m of x in for x. So we're going to start writing the f function, 5 times something plus 1, and the something that we're going to put in parentheses is the m of x function. So 
Let's put in negative 2x minus 5. Now let's simplify. Distribute 5 times negative 2x is negative 10x. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. We still have plus 1. This simplifies to negative 10x, and then the negative 25 plus 1 is minus 24. So f of m of x is negative 10x minus 24. Now, let's try this to see if, and substitute 0 in for x, to see if we get the same result that we originally found when we found f of m of 0. So, f of m of 0 using the function we just found, but the value of x we used earlier, we put 0 in for this x, we get negative 10 times 0 minus 24, 0 minus 24, or negative 24. So we do indeed get the same answer, and we should. If we didn't, we did something wrong.